Hey, what is going on, everyone? This is your boy from Beauty Dipping Gold Dragon. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and bell notification buttons. As all of your support really helps me remain motivated to continue making these type of videos. And my sincerest, sincerest apologies for the prolonged delay in making this video. But the end of the semester was at hand at that time. And yes, although I know a lot of things have happened in Bangladesh cricket, I just did not find the time to conduct my research in terms of the data analysis, data collection, and taking care of all the logistics and covering Bangladesh cricket to a good amount of detail at the same time. But now that the semester is over and my work is not complete by any means, but slightly lightened, I have a little bit of time to make more videos. So you're gonna get a few more Bangladesh cricket videos and you're also going to get the Batman review material. The Tekken video, like I mentioned, until I reach two, three, zero subscribers, I'm not continuing work on that. So, because that I need a bit more return on my investment of hard work. But anyways, for the first of two videos regarding this point. So first is the Pakistan versus Bangladesh test series. And I will have to say, Bangladesh are moving in the right direction. And what I mean by moving in the right direction is Bangladesh need to lose over and over and over again in the most humiliating ways possible because we need to get rid this is just my opinion and yes people are allowed to have opi people are allowed to have opinions the validation is separate but people are allowed to have opinions and those who think otherwise you know they you know they have there are those i will say this you know what i'll say this there are those of inferior intellect they they have no business you know even joining a discussion who believe that people should not have an opinion. Okay. Well, at least, you know, in something as trivial as sport. But people like Russell Domingo and Minhadul Abedin Nanu, they need to be removed from any type of position of authority in the BCB because they have clearly shown that they have not changed their ways, especially like uh, considering what happened with the squad selection for the New Zealand tour, they have shown they have not changed their way, then they are still very steadfast in remaining uh, xenophobic, if you will, you know, to changing their ways. They are basically throwing anything against the wall and seeing what sticks. And this is not how you actually conduct business, especially if you are a top test playing nation. Well, top as in we are not the very bottom. We're not top, but oh, if you're a top cricketing nation, this is not how we conduct business. And that is why Bangladesh needed to pull off the impossible. Bangladesh needed to lose a curtailed test match by an innings. I believe you're like three and a half days play. Bangladesh needed to lose that match by an innings just to humiliate Russell Domingo and humiliate Minhadul Abedin Nannu. Okay? Because these are, there are a lot more problematic areas, but these are two prime areas of concern. People related to this, do they need to go as well? Yes. Does Bangladesh cricket need a complete overhaul? Yes. At least something Domingo suggested stuck, at least in the domestic circuit. You know, apparently Mohammed Mithun, he opened and he made some 
big runs. And the BCL also going to have a um, one-day format. And we're going to see a few more people come back. Uh, but, you know, I don't think that had much to, to do with uh, Domingo. But, yes, this type of humiliating performance, okay, and this type of humiliating performance even by our pace bowlers where every single Pakistani pace bowler, even the part-timers, they're getting swing and bounce. I mean, if you ask Mohammad Ridwan to bowl, I'm pretty sure even he would get swing and bounce. Okay. Every one of them got swing and bounce, but Abu Jaid was completely. Uh, no, wait, I don't think he played. Sorry. Um, Khaled Ahmed, like, you know, for the most part, he wasn't that effective. It took him like two or three test matches, or maybe, for the, maybe the fourth one to get his first and only test wicket. Yeah, it's a Babur Azam, but I have seen his bowling. And I'm sorry, Khaled Ahmed is not a good prospect if this is how he is going to perform. And if this is what he's going to base his position in the test squad on. Taking three or four matches to get one test wicket. And not being economical. Being very expensive at that. So I don't know... What it is that brought Syed Khalid Ahmed to this test squad. But given that Bangladesh in the pace unit, they had so little support. Ibadat could not do much. Yes, he tried his best. But if you have another fast bowler giving you so many open runs, now then there is no pressure being maintained from the other end. The pressure has been relieved from the other end. No, that's not how it works. So, like I said, people like Khalid Ahmed, if they don't improve, they don't deserve to be in the Bangladesh squad. And I am glad in a way that Bangladesh were humiliated to the ground, like till their face hit the ground. And ironically, on the... This happened in the month where we were celebrating the 50th anniversary. By the way, happy independent, belated Independence Day, by the way. Also, happy belated Victory Day, by the way. The 50th anniversary of our victory against a battle against Pakistan. And we did not win anything. And one of the chief architects of this is Russell Domingo. This humiliation... This absolute humiliation was career-destroying humiliation. Absolutely worth, like, you know, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, like, we'll take the food off your plate type of humiliation. No, take the food off your plate type of deserved humiliation was necessary. Okay? Because people are not punitive enough nowadays. People have gone too soft. Even the BCB has gone too soft. Yes. I know. No, no. I know what it means if someone loses their job. Like, you know, they don't get they don't get Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whatever. 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 If people valued, like, you know, get, you know, you know, ha having having food to put on their on their plate so much, maybe they wouldn't have done such a horrible job like basically all the hard work that people like Chanduka Hathro Singh uh, Jamie Sidden and all of them did completely almost completely undone no one knows what to do like you have test cricketers opening in T20 you have T20 openers opening in tests like Mohammad Naim Sheikh what was the point of that what was the point of having Mohammad Naim Sheikh open? What was the point of having Saif Hassan open in, in, in T20s? So yeah, the best result happened. Bangladesh were absolutely humiliated in a monumental time where they would have done with some victory against especially Pakistan. 50 years of independence, 50 years 
of victory. You know, the month of, you know, the, the 50th anniversary of, of our victory against Pakistan. And this is what the BCB had to offer. This is what Bangladesh had to offer. So that is it for the first video.